and at Ray Bestis, performance, quality and reliability are a part of every product. Hi, I'm Irvin Gers. I'm with Ray Bestis Powertrain. Welcome to Ray's Garage. Today we're going to be talking about the wet dual clutch unit from the DL501 transmission, which is a seven speed transmission found in Audis. What I want to cover is some key points on things to remember when you're working with this unit. Uh, first of all, notice I've got a rubber mallet and I've got a little pocket screwdriver and that's all I'm going to need to get these clutches out of this unit. Also, keep in mind that when you're doing this, uh, these little tabs that stick up uh, through this uh, top portion of the drum, you do not want to bend those because it would make it very difficult not only to get it apart, but also to get it back together. That's the reason why I'm using this little screwdriver. It's not going to create a whole lot of prying force on any of those, and you don't need it. So, snap ring. Now, because of the tight fit, we'll need the rubber mallet to kind of tap this off of here. If I use a steel hammer, I might end up bending the top of this, and we don't want to do that. So, once we get that off of there, we remove the K1 clutch hub. And the snap ring for the K2 clutch. We can then take the clutch hub for the K2 clutch out. The top pressure plate. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the top steel plates off of here so you can see how these clutches are in here. And this is very important how these clutches are installed. Not only are these segmented clutches, which we've all heard of, these are also directional, and we've heard of directional friction plates as well. Notice that from the ID to the OD on the K2 clutch that the groove goes in a counterclockwise direction. On the K1 clutch, they go from ID to OD in a clockwise direction. Now it's very important that we remember this because the K2 clutch acts as an oil pump, and what it does is when it's rotating, it is sending oil out, or it's pumping the oil out of the drum, and it'll pass through holes in the side of the drum, and it will help to lubricate this K1 clutch. And that also helps to cool the reaction plates in the K1 clutch. The K1 clutch also spins in the same direction, so therefore, instead of pumping the fluid, it's actually going to be drawing the fluid back in, and that creates a swirling motion inside these uh, grooves in the, uh, in the directional plate. So that also aids in the cooling of the, uh, of the K1 reaction plates. So I'm also showing you, these are, every one of these clutches goes in the same orientation. Uh, if you get these mixed up, you could end up with a clutch failure. So just keep that in mind when you're working on this. The K2 clutch goes counterclockwise, and the K1 clutch goes clockwise. And at Ray Bestis, performance, quality, and reliability are a part of every product.